Oh my gosh, are you serious? Well, yeah, welcome back to the channel, y'all. It's a fresh new day, new opportunities. A little bit breezy. A little hard to give it a dangle today or hunt or do anything. Now, something interesting that happened last night or early this morning. One of my dreams came true. And we've got this house and we started seeing all the wildlife and uh, just kind of fell in love with that. I was like, man, that would be cool to just be able to see deer in the yard. And uh, slowly they've been coming in. Randomly, we started seeing them and then uh, I put up a feeder and I was hoping one day we'll be downstairs eating breakfast and then they will come out. And Amy will get to grow up with these deer in the yard. Well, early this morning, it actually happened. OSG uh, came, came to me this morning. She said, honey, honey, there's a deer, there's a deer. There's a, there's a, a doe and a fawn in the yard. So uh, I'm gonna pull this card right now and then we're gonna take a look. Unfortunately, uh, there was a dog that scared him off. That was dadgummit. But the good news is they're here. They're here. And I'm hoping after uh, all the rutting is over, which it should be winding down, that uh, we're gonna be able to, to see more of them. So starting the outdoor day off right with some deer goodness. We got our card in, let's take a look and see. Who was roaming around? There's usually the same three deer. That's not even a deer. That is Ricky out there, just giving it a munch. Probably gonna have to trap him one of these days. Oh, so, oh, that was a skunk. Skunk taking off. Whoa, what the hell? That is a light shining and movement of like a leg. Is that like a goat? Am I am I seeing things here? That's 2:45 a.m. Either that's like a floodlight situation, and there's whoa, that looks like a pair of legs with nothing up top. What in the crap is going on there? Okay, well, I'm just gonna pretend like I didn't see that. Well, there's old Ricky again. Just, uh, boy, what a fat one he is. Wow, hiking it up. Well, for some reason, it didn't show up on that card. I pulled another card, and uh, it looks like they were on there. I don't know why that other one wasn't working. I like these, these new trail cams I got, the Brownings. There's these three doves. They're pretty much they're, they're almost here every day. There they are in the rain. Oh, that is an old doe right there in front. There they are at the feeder. They're always here. So they didn't come out until 7.13 in the morning. So you can actually see. Steph was able to see them. They like my ryegrass. See that one over there? We planted some winter ryegrass and they love it. I think this is where the pooch comes in here. Oh yeah, the, the, the classic white tail jumping off into the woods. Well, at least they were here. Oh yeah, you can see where they've been just tearing it up. Tearing it up around here with the corn. That's actually hog right there. Hog roots. The three ladies. Maybe one day they'll bring in old Big Buck into the yard. <laughs> Who knows? But I just, I just think it's cool that Amy We'll get to see that growing up. And guess what? The deer bell. I guess it worked. They saw it, they were called in. I'm just gonna forget about the, uh, the other thing that I saw. Don't really wanna know what that was. Weird, weird. I'm sure there's some super weird things that get caught on trail cameras that probably freak people out. I'm kinda scared to watch those videos, but if you've ever seen anything crazy, let me know in the comments what's the craziest thing you've ever seen. Ghost, alien? Chupacabra. One thing I really want to show you guys today is the warehouse that we've been working on. Planning, the layout, uh, the innards, the guts. We're doing all that stuff right now and it's been a while since I've been up there and scoped it out. Uh, so we're gonna go up there and take a gander and check on the progress. And a couple things I need to do here. I got one of these sick Guggen Bates uh, boat carpet decals. I need to put that on the silver bullet put that stamp on there baby Guggen Bates 
getting bigger and bigger by the day. They're awesome. It's been awesome to watch it grow. Um, another thing is the power pole. It is, it is not working. One of them is not. So I talked to the, uh, the folks at Fun and Sun. I thought it might be an easy fix. It sounds like it is. So I got to take uh, part, of the, part of the back deck apart here and we're gonna get into one of the pumps and we're gonna sync that up. You probably will never run into this issue. It's probably just me. I, I will tell you, here's what happens no matter how new your boat is, uh, what year it is, whatever, um, there's always issues with boats. I've, this is my, uh, my fifth one and every single one of them has some sort of issues from the day you get it all the way up until the, the day you sell it, there's just always things with boats. That's why they stand for break out another thousand. But this fix is gonna be free. Just requires a little bit of uh, power tools and some noggin knowledge. Thanks to the guys at Fun and Something, they know what they're doing. So I'm gonna get in here and I wanna fix this pump. Okay, never done this before. Don't know what I'm doing. I'm just going on basic uh, manuals. You know what I'm saying. No manuals required. I'm just looking at parts and we're gonna do some digging. I do need uh, special hex screws. What? Found the right one. Four more. So this is kind of one of the things that I don't like about the boat, but it's not a not a terrible inconvenience. But the access back here with all the batteries is tough. But once you take that off, you got tons of room inside here, and I'll show you guys the pump. This is the right pump right here, and then uh, there's some of the batteries. There's actually a lot of moisture in there, um, and that happens. That happens with these boats. A lot of that moisture just sits there. Sometimes I like to just leave the lid open in the back while I'm charging it if I can let some of that moisture get out but as you can see this, this me trying to reach my arm through there all the way up on here and I'm not LeBron James I don't have that kind of uh, wingspan so it'd be really tough so this is much easier and I'll just get in here and uh, give it a dangle and sync up the remote and hopefully it works there's a red button on the very top and I'm gonna hold that in for about three seconds I might want to turn my power on first Oh, oh, whoa, whoa, we are working now, what? Okay, well, I don't know what just happened. Oh wait, now it's not working. Okay, working. What the deuce, man? What did I do? I literally just looked at it and it started working. Wow. I love it when that happens. Hashtag magic sauce. Figured out the problem. There was still some mess up in the sauce there. If I go to the control panel, the main button over here, I go down, no worky. So like I was saying, little red button right here. I'm gonna hold that down for a few seconds. Come over here, hit it. Yeah, still, still not working. Hold. The beep. Press any button here. Remote function. What the dealio is happening here? Okay, I can manually put it down. There it goes. Synced up. You're gonna have to hold it. I think this is a job for OSG. There's a button. On that right side there, it's got some red on it. Looks like a oval shape. Okay, I'm gonna need you to hold either up or down the gray button. One of those. Go. Okay, let go. Well, let's sync with this remote. I need it to sync with both remotes. Oh, I'm trying to get my, uh, my power poles to go down. Sounds good. Thank you, Mr. Faint. Bye. Sounds like that was, I was totally not planned, but um, the, uh, the guy that hooked me up with this boat, Mr. Fain at, at Fun and Son, he was, uh, he was calling to say that my tags were in and 
literally I was doing everything right and it's probably the fob and it, it happens every once in a while. So <laughs> y'all know, y'all know it's not my fault. I mean, I know my way around a boat. This is my fifth one, gosh darn it. And I, I know all the ins and outs. I'm practically a uh, certified mechanic. Sweetheart, thank you for your help. My little girls. Oh, you're welcome. I don't think we did too much. Oh, uh, well, you, you, uh, you figured out the problem. We supervised. figured it out together. We supervised. Yeah. How do you think she would do in the bass boat seat? Uh, slide right off. Slide right off, you think? <laughs> There's a lot of armor all on that sucker. <laughs> too early? Yeah, probably a little too early. Maybe when okay. she can sit up. Maybe one day you'll be ready to dangle. Well, you guys have a good day. You too. Stay out of my cave. You know what we'll be doing all day. Watching oh, I don't. Disney movies. Oh. Okay, sounds good. Looks like we need to go get our tags and a new fobby thing. Those are called fobs. Fobs. No worky. Just one worky. Well, task number one is semi complete. They're working with the other remote. It's just uh, the other fob. They didn't really get it done. Gosh, are you serious? There it goes. I, I think it might be a fluid issue as well. I gotta run some fluid in there. Hey, come on. Let's get up. Head for the heels, baby. Dad it. I'm gonna have to manually pump you up. <sighs> Look at that comes right up on the man pump. So maybe there's a greater issue. I don't know. Like I said, always something. It's starting to sprinkle. That beautiful gel coat just getting drizzled on. So I gotta hurry up and get this sticker on and then put the cover back on. Uh, and then we're gonna figure this thing out together. I might just take the whole boat in, get it figured. Cause when it's time to dangle, don't have time to be dealing with that stuff. I mean, I'm basically on tour. I'm basically out there like, you know, like KVD, except not. This is a pretty one right here. <sighs> Boom. That's where I'm thinking. Mondo's on Guggen Bates 2019. Okay, it is time to show you guys this magical warehouse that we have been working on and get a key fob. We're about to roll up to Fun and Sun. It's not a whole lot of fun and sun though today. It's more like just preparation work and clouds and rain. Necessary though. I actually got a big trip tomorrow planned, heading down to do some overnight stay fishing. And I'm gonna be traveling uh, hours to go to some lakes. So I wanna make sure all my ducks are in a row. My bass are all in their school to use more of a fishing freak reference. I like that. Just exiting. Fun and sun. You know why I love going in there? They treat you like family. It's fantastic. And uh, I got some specially made rigs. New technique that's hot on the market. Tokyo rig. I got hooked up with uh, not only the uh, regular controls for the power pole that I needed, some new ones that'll work, but I also got the foot jammers. So you put your toe on there and then you can do it up on the front deck. So. We are hooked up, ready to go. We gotta get those babies rigged and we'll be ready to dangle tomorrow. Unfortunately, my boys called and uh, while I was getting all that stuff done in there, they're already at the warehouse. So uh, I'm not sure if they're still gonna be there when it's time to roll over there for us because so, we have a long drive now. So I just exited off the highway and it's just down here about five miles. Uh, and I was just talking to Rob and uh, Matt. It seems like they've made some good changes so far. We've been just watching this thing come together. So um, 
I'm excited. I'm excited to see how, how the progress is so far. It's huge, guys. So our, our current house that we're in right now is, um, you know, it's, it's a house and we've done a lot of stuff in it, but this is going to be a Mondo Content Creation Center. Cannot wait. Oh yeah, I see it up there on the hill. Monster white building up there on the hill. 20,000 square feet almost of Googanness. Yes! Eventually we're gonna have probably a giant sign out front, so you're gonna see a huge GS on this building, but it's kinda of hard to miss the building off the highway as it is right now. And we are here. Yeah. Can't film the inside. No, dude, I filmed the outside just a tad, but nothing on the inside. Can't show it yet, y'all. Ah! They're working on it right now, but look at this. All that space. Going from a house to all that space. I know you gotta be excited. Oh man, our minds have just been churning, churning uh, for everything on the inside. We're gonna have some really cool stuff. This is gonna be the ultimate meetup place. You guys are gonna love it. Now I can't take you on the inside just yet, so uh, pause for a minute. So many phrases can be put on this building. So much space, so much real estate. G, S, squad up. Mondos, everything. Oh my gosh. Been working on this place a while. It's been a concept, it's been an idea in our minds for quite a long time, but it's gonna be a cool place for you guys to come hang out and for us to do work and create and just be more of a team unit. I like your new shades. Yeah, how you doing? Happy dangling. I'll see you tomorrow on our adventure. Yep. Me and Rob are doing a uh, team venture tomorrow on some fishing, so you guys want to make sure to stay tuned for that. Next mission, I gotta go install this stuff for the uh, the power poles, um, and just get the uh, get the get the boat ready. Make sure everything's legal. I got my my tags in, so the state of Texas knows that I'm legal to dangle, baby. Seriously, you guys are gonna enjoy what's coming here uh, starting in March, I believe. We'll probably have a giant meetup to uh, to kick this thing off. So until then, all those uh, workers up there are gonna keep it working and make it good. Okay, now that uh, they hooked me up with some new equipment, let's just see what we're twerking with here. This is the new dash remote that I'm gonna need to uh, probably install so let's try to sync this bad boy up beep there we go well that's just one I'm gonna have to take off the other lid dad gum it okay I've been twerking with it and I think I finally got it figured out both deals double down on me right now That would not be both. What about up? Down. Okay, there, there, there it goes. There it goes. It's it's only like half the time. I mean, what? At least now they're both programmed. It's like this one's delayed. Down. All the way. Up. Okay, that's gonna have to do. One last thing, we'll just put our sticky stuff on our uh, console power pole remote that I had right here. I should probably put some screws in the actual console but I'm just gonna use the sticky stuff for now. And we're gonna go right there. Looks pretty good, give her the old tight squeeze. Ah. Yeah. Okay. Well, maybe one of y'all can help me out here in the comments because uh, when I use this remote, they're both going down. And sometimes they go up. Sometimes they don't wanna go up. I am thoroughly confused. Something's up, something's not right. Get it 
ready to go. I found it's always better to do your preparations the night beforehand before you head out. And we are going to check on these power poles, make sure they're working right before we take off. And now we're legal. We got all our paperwork. We're ready to fish with freedom. This new cover on the FX is really phenomenal too. Uh, it's got some extra vents up top just to keep it drier on the inside. And it covers all the way to the tailbone. This is going to be a great cover for all the storms and everything that I'm sure are gonna occur in spring. That's just how it happens in Texas. You wanna fish in Texas in the spring for a big bass, you're gonna get a nice day. But most of the time what you're gonna deal with is high winds and nasty weather. You can always count on that. But sometimes the big ones bite during those fronts. Gotta be ready to dangle. The rain is starting to come in, fishing rig, so I must leave you here. But if you wanna stay tuned for the next dangle, we've made our preparations. We are ready to go. We're getting the heck out of North Texas because it has been so tough up here lately. And we're heading to another part of Texas where I think the bite might be better. Different part of the, the world, part of Texas. We're gonna have to figure some things out, but I can't wait to use the new electronics and maybe dial in some deep fish. I don't know, maybe they're shallow, I don't know. These changing conditions though, always leaves something to figure out. Thanks for staying tuned guys. Subscribe right here if you want more action and I'll see you guys on the next one. Later.